Welcome to Moldova, where the old meets new in surprising ways. Moldova is beautiful. I think it's time for a change. I want to slow down, focus on my life. Come. Becky wants a house to raise a family. I like it. I like it all. You serious? We looked at a lot of um, actual abandoned houses and we didn't find what we were looking for. While we were doing location scouting, they brought us to a private resort that had been the exclusive resort of the communist leadership of Romania. And it had essentially sat abandoned for 30 years. And they said, what about this restaurant that was used once before for another film shoot 10 years earlier? And we walked in and it was pretty blasted. And we thought, you know, I think with a little bit of uh, paint and some and some props, this will look great. So they knocked out a couple of walls, they knocked out all of the modern windows, put in uh, new fake old style windows, built a fake ruined kitchen. Then we filmed the interiors and exteriors of the before sequence of the, of the film. And we shot all of the exteriors with the cobblestone streets and the creepy houses with the eyeballs on top. That scene where the crew drives in and they see the house that's been restored and they say, holy cow, like, I can't believe it. That, that was real because we felt the same way when we pulled up. We were like, holy cow, we've only been gone five days and they've already fixed this place up. But it was only on the outside. Yeah. So as we would film the shots where our crew was arriving at the house and seeing all of the wonderful work that's being done there, we'd film that shot and we would yell, cut, and then bump, 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 the hammering from inside would start because the crew was still in there trying to repair the place for the interior shots, which would be coming up in a day or two. I had a conversation with our cinematographer about five or six days into the film. The first day, the crew was panicked. They thought we were insane. The first day we shot only the stuff that, that takes place in the House Hunters International sequence. That show, that real show in real life, they shoot an entire episode in three days. And so my policy on set was, I can't spend more time filming this tour of this house than they would doing the real show. Our cinematographer was horrified. He's like, oh no, this whole movie is gonna look like garbage. And I was like, no, 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 it's just this first day. On the fifth day or so, he began to realize, okay, they, they're not just making a garbage movie. So he calmed down <laughs> and um, he, we had a conversation and he said, you know, I, I like very much what you're doing with this film, I, um, I, I, I like the speed at which we're working. And I said, oh, you do? Because I know on, on the first day you were very afraid of that speed. And he said, no, no, I, I like it. It's uh, my last movie, I spent 11 days shooting one scene. And I said, oh, wow, that must have been very complex. What was it? And he said, oh, it was a dinner scene. People were eating dinner. And I said, oh, and how long, 11, you spent 11 days shooting it. How long in the film is that scene? He said, oh, it's about 10 minutes. And I said, wow, <laughs> you spent 11 days shooting one 10 minute scene. How, how, do you keep that, um, how do you keep that interesting? And he, or, and he said, oh, it's, oh, no, it's not interesting. It's a very boring scene. And I said, no, no, I mean, like, how do you, how do you keep it compelling, this, just people talking while they eat food? And he said, oh, no, it's not compelling. It's a very, very boring movie. And I said, how do, you, how, how do you get money to make a boring movie? And he said, oh, we get it from the tax board. And I said, oh, okay, well, there is no tax board in America. I have to Bad. raise money. I have to get money from rich people who expect me to pay it back. And so we don't have that luxury of shooting a 10 minute scene of people eating for 11 days. Coming from animation, you work in animation, you have to plan and design and essentially execute everything before you ever bring the cameras around. I storyboard, you, you write, you design every shot perfectly because you can't just say, well, let's do that shot again, it didn't work out. There's no retake in animation. So that's the, the industry that we came from and we learned to work like that, to essentially prepare our movie and direct it ahead of time. So when we went out into the woods to shoot, we knew exactly what we were trying to get on film. Coming from video games and animation, no one was gonna give us an opportunity to do it. So we knew we had to shoot it on a very small budget, very quickly, 
if we wanted to make our money back, we had to shoot in a genre where a, a, an inexpensive film is not, is not a problem. And that led naturally to horror.